semester in Rome, Italy. So, uh, yeah, I, like, I'm so excited. Basically, it's like you apply, but, like, as long as you meet the deadlines with your application, like, you'll get in, is what they told me, so. And now there's a point. Plantrons, automobiles in the middle of a mountain, like, since when? Anyway, it's only when I'm filming. That's just the way the world works. JK, but, I mean, really. Um, but yeah. So, basically, like, basically, I apply this summer, and then I find out at, like, the end of the summer, like, in August, which I must, like, the guy who I talked to was like, yeah, you'll, like, you're gonna get in as long as you meet the deadline, so should be fine, but yeah, so I would go study abroad in Rome for a semester, and I literally, like, that is my dream come true, like, to live in Italy. I, like, I just could not imagine anything more perfect, so I'm planning on that, and I'm really excited, but yeah, I don't think I've said that to you guys yet, but if I have, sorry for repeating myself. Um, yeah, also random, but I went to the eye doctor the other day because when I was younger, I wore glasses from two to 14. Like, I got them off when I was 14 because I said I had 20 20 vision, but I was like, I don't think I have 20 20 vision because basically I got, why do I keep smacking things? I got glasses because my right eye was a lazy eye and they wanted to, like, fix it. So I got glasses. But, um, I hadn't gone to the eye doctor since I was 14, and I am now 20, so it was about due, it was due time for that. So I went the other day, and apparently, because I was also worried, because basically this eye can't see as well as this one, like, when I close my eyes, like, like, okay, when I close this eye, it looks normal to see, like, everything is perfectly clear, like, this is what my vision looks like normally. Like, I don't even, I do need this eye, I love this eye, but, like, technically, this is exactly what everything looks like anyway, so, whatever. And then, when I close this eye, like, everything, like, shifts, and so, um, and it's, like, it's not blurry, but it's, like, a black haze over it, and it's, like, transparent. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, like, it's just the vision isn't as good. Like, it's just darker. It's just, like, things are darker, and so, um, yeah, so I, like, they did all these, like, neuro, I don't know, neuro, um, something tests, and basically, like, found out that it's not my vision that the problem is with, it's with my brain. So when I was younger, my brain and my eye and this eye couldn't coordinate with each other. And so basically, like, it uses this eye to see. So this eye is like what sees things. Like when I'm looking right now, like it's this eye is working 100%. This eye is like barely working. But it's because my brain and this eye can't like communicate with each other. So it's like a lot weaker and so I can't like fix the problem with glasses basically which I was like wow that's crazy it's literally just my brain um and so we were doing a lot of tests oh yeah because basically I have this like magic trick which really isn't magic it's kind of not probably good not good anyway but so she was like the eye doctor was showing me um pictures through this thing and like there was one it was like a plus sign and she would cover an eye, or like, do use this machine to whatever, and basically she'd be like, what do you see? And I was like, I see clock hands pointing at, um, what did I say? Clock hands pointing at six and nine. And then she was like, interesting, because I only saw like the bottom, the bottom angle, like just that part. And then she, she like switched the eye, and then she said, now what do you see? And I said, I see clock hands pointing. 12 and 3. So I only saw, like, that angle. And so, it, like, literally, the bottom part of the angle and the top part of the angle would vanish, like, disappear from my eyesight. And so then she took it away, and she's like, now what do you see? I was like, oh, it's, like, 
cross, like a plus sign. And I was like, wait, like, what? And she was like, basically, she's like, usually people would see a full plus sign, but your brain makes you lose. Like, your brain literally makes part of the image disappear, where it's like completely gone. Like, it's there, like if any other person who had normal vision could look at what I was looking at, they would see it was a plus sign. But my brain literally makes things disappear from my eyesight. And so it's like, it's not even like, oh, it's like hard to see. No, it was just like gone. Like there was only half of the image I could see, which I'm like, that's crazy. Like imagine like other things. Like what if someone was trying to show me something and like I only see part of it? Like, I don't know, but like, isn't that wild? I was like, she's like, basically you have a magic trick where you can make things disappear. And I was like, ha ha ha, that's a good way to look at it. But I don't know if it's as good as you make it out to be. But like, yeah, I just learned that the other day. So I was just kind of like in shock because I was like, that is crazy. Um, yeah, I've been going to a lot of doctors. I had to go get my retainer, a new retainer for my teeth too because I broke my other one. Dang, they're expensive, bro. Um, <laughs> I went to a spin class today. I'm kind of, I'm just like updating you guys on my day. <laughs> I went to a spin class today.